I wasn't a fan of green peppers before, but these two easy recipes changed my mind. First, the umami peppers, a saute with Japanese spices that eliminates all the bitterness, and the Japanese style stuffed peppers, a harmony of spicy beef, and the crunchiness of raw peppers. Well, let's get started. Oh, crap. All right, let's go over the ingredients for the umami peppers. Get two peppers, two tablespoons of sesame oil, a tablespoon each of soy sauce, meeting, and sake, and a dash of ajinomoto, salt and pepper, and sesame. All right, we'll first cut the pepper in half, then empty out the core and the seeds. Cut them into strips of about an inch and a half wide, as we are treating them kind of like pieces of steak, so that we can get the full taste of the peppers as we chew into them. Now get a stove in a pot, set it to medium heat, pour the sesame oil, Heat it until it's watery like this. Then add the green peppers. I said we're gonna use two peppers in the beginning, but I'm actually just not even using one. These American ones are a lot bigger than the Japanese ones I'm used to. Anyway, focus on getting charred marks on the surface. Peppers get sweeter the more you heat them, just like onions. They'll get a little too soft if you overheat them, so this should be good enough. Now pour the soy sauce, the meeting, sake, a dash of salt and pepper. Oh, that's way too much. Gonna remake it off camera. Good thing I had the extra peppers. So anyway, add a dash of ajinomoto, also known as MSG powder. And remember, MSG is good for you. Keep sauteing as you stir the peppers for a few minutes. It's ready when the sauce is very thick and liquidy like this. I'm putting it on top of a plate of rice. The sauce goes so well with rice, but you can eat it on its own as well. It's gonna be great no matter what. Then pour the sauce evenly over the peppers and the rice. Sprinkle a little bit of sesame to finish it off. You know, I think that is the most simple recipe I made on this channel, but it actually might be one of my favorites, especially because, what, it costs like less than like a dollar to make. And as you guys know, the inflation is kind of getting out of hand and uh, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit on the financially distressed side of things, so maybe it's a blessing in disguise. All right, now let's make the stuffed peppers. Let's go over the ingredients. Get about 150 grams of ground beef, two green peppers, two cloves of garlic, a chili pepper or two depending on your preference, two teaspoon each of sweet bean sauce and Korean chili paste, a tablespoon of sake, and hot chili oil. All right, now let's first prep these green peppers. You wanna find the right shape to stuff as much beef as possible, which will obviously differ for each pepper. Take out the core and the seeds. Then chop it up as we'll cook it with the beef. Now smash the garlic, chop it up. Then mix with the core. Prepare a bowl of ice water. Now put the green peppers into the bowl and let it chill for a few minutes to make it extra crispy. All right, now let's cook the meat while they cool down. Coat the pan with oil and heat it at about low medium heat. Now put in the ground beef. You can also use ground pork or ground turkey instead. Heat it in large clumps, kind of like a burger so that we get nice sear marks. Then you can start breaking them up. Now add the chopped garlic and core and mix it up evenly with the meat. Then the Korean chili paste, also known as gochujang. Mix it up until it's fully entangled with the meat. Now add the sweet bean sauce, also known as tiammyeon sauce. Just like before, mix it up until it's fully entangled with the meat. If there are still lumps of meat left, just chop them up. Between the Chinese and Korean spices, this isn't really a Japanese dish, is it? But I am. And adding sake will make it more Japanese. Also add a dash of ajinomoto for that umami flavor. Mix it all up. It's done, so put it into a separate bowl for now. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the chili peppers. It does add a nice kick to the whole dish, but it's optional and you can also just use chili flakes instead. I picked these two pieces of green peppers. So now add the stuffing. Pack it in tightly and as full as possible. There should be no open spaces left in the peppers. Now add the chili flakes on top and the optional chili oil, also known as Ryu. And we're finished. So good. There's such a good balance between the spiciness of the meat and the general like refreshing crunchiness of the green peppers. Like if I could change one thing, I definitely would have preferred to have like the smaller Japanese green peppers. I think food like this is meant to be finger food and this is um it is a little too little too big for my fingers, I think. Um yeah. So, you know, maybe maybe half the size would be better suited for my mouth. Unless, 
No, no, I, I, I can't fit it all of it in my mouth. Ugh. All right, now I'm gonna get right into editing. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.